Hi there, welcome to my channel at Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord, I'm the host. Today I have a question from Rob. And Rob says, why would a girl stop texting me after she admitted she liked me? We've been texting for about two weeks and it was quite regular, all of a sudden it stopped. Well, what happens in cases like this, dating really is hard to date. And I get that, like I, as an older woman, dating was maybe not as often for us back then because you didn't have all the social media tools and you didn't have the dating sites as much as you do now or the apps. So it was a little bit harder to meet people, but when you met them, there was usually some substance and you actually would talk to each other because you met in person. Now with everybody meeting online, it becomes a text fest for at least a month before you actually even meet each other. And this is something that I've often talked about in my show that I disagree with, that you spend so much time via text just getting to know somebody that way because I think that you can hide so much behind a text. And the problem with this is people can say whatever they want to say. They can make you feel like you're the only one. Well, nowadays you're not the only one. Most people are texting a couple of different people at once. And so this girl is probably got other people from dating apps or whatever that she's in contact with. And she's sort of going with the best one, the guy that stands out the most with what he's saying. Maybe he's asked her out already. Maybe you haven't asked her out. What is wrong with just saying, okay, I really like who you are and I'd like to take you out for coffee. Let's do it. Find out who they are because your best bet is to see them face to face because when you do that, you're reading their body language, you're watching their eyes, you've got all so much more in front of you than you do when somebody's sitting there texting you. Come on, let's face it. I mean, anybody can hide behind that. So I'm sure this girl likes you enough that she texted you for a couple of weeks and you guys had this nice thing going on. But again, maybe in the meantime, she's met somebody that stood out just that little bit more. It's not to say that you're never going to hear from her again, but I would say to you that if you want to find out how she's really feeling, text her and just say, you know what? I'd really like to see you. I don't want to keep this texting going on much longer. Let's meet up for a coffee on Wednesday. See what she says. If she doesn't get back to you or she says, uh, oh, I can't, I'm really busy this week and she makes excuses. Well, I think you're going to have your answer either way there. She's too busy to see you or she's not interested anymore because she's probably met somebody else. And this is the dangers of dating apps because sometimes you can have five or six people at once that you're communicating with. And this becomes, well, it can be fun. I'm not saying it's not a, a good time. It can boost your ego for a little while. But if you really are looking for someone to have a partnership with, you don't want to keep wasting time doing the small talk over and over and over again with the taxing. Just be upfront and just say, I really want to see you. I want to get to know you. Let's meet in person. You know, today there's so many catfishers out there, people who play a lot, play these games and then they ghost you. You know, f I always say, find out earlier than later. Why do you want to spend so much time in a fake scenario when you can meet them and see if they're real? See what I'm saying here? I think what's happened is people feel that, oh, they text me again and they get excited about that. It's almost like a date to them each time somebody texts you or you text them. And that's not the way it should be. If you want to change up the this bad scenario of what's going on in, in dating today, you've got to be that person that brings back sort of the boundaries and things that have worked in the past. I always had a rule that I would text somebody a couple of times. If they didn't ask me out in that time frame, then I was gone. And this is, could be what happened with her too. Maybe you're just too slow in, in moving to to get to see her in person and maybe she's just sort of given up on you because you're taking too long. So give it one more shot, text her again, tell her you'd like to see her, set up a day. If she can't do it that day, ask her what day would work for her. If she still is making excuses, move on. Don't waste any more time. Thanks for your question, Rob. I appreciate it. And keep your questions coming to Dear Cyber Sue here on YouTube or go to my uh, blog page at cybersue.com. Thanks, everyone. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video.